Hey guys, we're going to talk about seven ways to protect your investment. You put a lot of money into that camper, trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome, and you want to make sure it stays safe. One of the biggest damages that can happen are rodents. Yes, we're talking about mice and rats, what they can do, tens of thousands of dollars of damage. So again, we're going to give you seven ways to protect your RV. are going to come up the ladder. I said we got what you need, honey. Come and groove along. Come on. Keep on that highway. Wow. Come on. And groove along. Come on. Said So guys, as we start to look for ways to protect your investment in your RV from mice and rats, realize I have not found any one single thing that makes the difference. What I have found is different things that help in different areas. So we're going to show you everything from, from poisons to traps to repellents, just everything we can do to try to help this problem. This is a scene we definitely do not want to see in our RV. All right, to talk about our seven different ways you can protect your motorhome, we're going to start from the outside and work our way to the inside. Number one is to get some repellent that creates an odor and a smell that mice and rats don't like. So I've used a couple of things. One I was really happy with was Grandpa Gus's uh, spray, and it just seemed to really work effectively. I would put down some bait uh, in an area where I sprayed Grandpa Gus, and the mice and all did not go after that bait. I put bait in other areas, very similar areas of motor motorhome, and there were traces of the mice uh, in those areas. So I think G Grandpa Gus is a good way to go. Now this last time I went to go order it, uh, it was out and has been out now for quite some time. So I tried something new and this is the one I'm trying right here and it's called Minty, all right, uh, Mighty Mint, Mighty Mint uh, Pest and Rodent Control. And so it's a uh, it's a very mint flavor type smell. It's not offensive at all uh, to humans. Uh, we have a small dog, Winston, you've probably seen him. Uh, he's our mascot and our RV dog. Uh, doesn't bother him at all. So it comes in a, this one. I like to get the gallon jug like you see here. This is also the way I bought uh, Grandpa Gus was in the big gallon jug as well. And it comes with a little sprayer attachment. You just pop off the top lid put in this sprayer and there you go. So some areas I want to spray is anything that mice or rats could jump up on into. And one of the areas where they try to get in a lot is around the wheel and the tire of the motorhome. So I'll spray down in here and get some up in the wheel well and around the front. And this helps discourage them. Even though I'm not getting the other side of the tire wheel well, it's still something to do. So let's go on and look at some of the bays and we'll show you how we spray those as well. Here's one of my bays and I'll just come in here and spray along the edge of the door with this. Uh, 
it's carpeted in there and you know I really don't mind too much that it is getting on that carpet it absorbs it a little bit uh, I have had no experience with this staining or discoloring anything so I think it's a good way to go but spray this around they suggest the first week or two spray a couple of times a week and then just maintain it ever so often after that uh, we're gonna carry uh, a gallon of this with us as we travel because some campsites have problems with mice and rats and so we want to be prepared so we'll spray this a couple of a couple of other places let's let's go take a look all right here's a place I like to get sprayed is right along my guard uh, along the back I want to spray that because that's an easy place for mice to get up and down so I'll go across all the way across the back and from the sides I will uh, spray the front and get a, uh, a coat of this this minty mighty mint on it and I think it does a pretty good job also we'll take a look here in the engine compartment as well pop this open and on the inside I want to keep it off the hoses and the wiring that's not something I really want to do but there's a lot of space in here around the fiberglass and we'll have you look right down in there and you can see that fiberglass wall so down in there is a good place to spray on that and we'll do that around the engine bay in those areas also I have a big metal tank here uh, for fluids so I'm gonna spray that down as well the hoses and the wiring that's what I'm trying to avoid and so that puts some of this area because we don't want mice or rat in here either what happens is underneath here where the power cord is it provides like a ramp for the mice and rats to run right up that power cord and into the bay so I do a couple of things one I'm gonna spray it real well but look closely right in here guys and you'll see this I have taken steel wool and put around the electrical line to try to keep mice they don't want to chew on that steel wool and then also I'll come in here put a little more mighty mint all around and especially down under here where they might approach that that cord and that'll keep them away there as well so mighty mint at you know uh, under about thirty dollars forty dollars a gallon maybe a little less uh, we'll have a link on Amazon for it give this a try uh, that or uh, grandpa Gus and uh, see if that's one thing that'll help but you'll need more all right guys there's the right way and wrong way to fight mice let's not do this one You might be wondering what this contraption is and this is by some considered one of the best mice traps that you can find okay and what it is it is a five gallon bucket we got this one at Home Depot with this lid and ladder and this is called a Rennie flip and slide lid so what the concept is you fill water up to about a third high in the bucket and then you put this lid on the top and the mice are going to come up the ladder walk out on this lid and when they go in it will flip and they will slide right down into the water so you might be asking why is a mice why are they going to come up and go up this ladder well on the inside we'll take and put peanut butter and uh, sunflower seeds so that's the bait they'll see that peanut butter and sunflower seeds then we'll take this lid this little flip lid it'll go right in here and I want you to see right back up in there how easy that flip lid flips and the mice will come and fall right into the water as they're attracted by that peanut butter and sunflower seeds and you can put anything that will stick to the top of that lid the way the lid is made mice can't get access to the bait unless they walk on top of the little flip lid very effective we've caught many mice and rats through this Rennie lid okay guys let's keep working on our layers of protection the next thing I want to show you is a product called fresh cab and it is a little packet 
of scents and also that will keep things wet away. This little rodent repellent packet right here and uh, again it's just something I put in there. It's an odor that tries to keep the mice and rats away and uh, I've watched some uh, information about their company and their products and I've seen some pretty good testimonials so we give that a try as well. I'm going to put this down in our bay where our aqua hot is and a lot of our wiring and uh, tubing and so I'll have this in there then I'm also going to shoot it with my rodent repellent spray as well. Okay guys, again, it's a layering effect. I don't know any one thing that is gonna keep mice and rats out of your motor home or camper or RV. But if you do layers of things, uh, then you have a better chance. There is no guarantees. We're just gonna do the best we can. So one of the things we did is we worked with the exterminator, our pest control guy that handles our home, and he has given us some packets that work really nicely. So this is more of a commercial grade. It's called Contract, uh, and it is for our, uh, from Bell Labs Manufacturing. And uh, I was really thinking that this would only be something I could find on uh, you know a professional level or maybe for a licensed uh, person. But I did find a case of these on Amazon, and it's got 76 packs, I think, and maybe a. Uh, 150 to 200 dollars something to that effect so you can get these throw them in you don't it's a poison uh, you don't open it you just throw the whole bag in and then if mice are present they'll be drawn to this they'll eat through the bag into the poison and uh, you'll have dead mice before you know it all right let's check out one of the packs that i put in here so this is one of my bays and as we slide out here right here is one of the packs and look all right there you can see it evidence of a mouse that has come in here they've eaten through the packet and they've gotten into the poison so i'm happy they've gotten the poison hopefully we'll find some dead mice soon and i can tell here's some more evidence that a mouse has been in here so we're doing everything we can and we'll continue to keep working on it okay guys next layer again we're going back now to our commercial exterminator that takes care of our home and he came out and also put some exterior bait traps for mice and rats and here's what it looks like it's this unit that we're sitting right underneath the fr uh, front of our rv it's got a hole where the mouse or rats can go inside this keeps uh, your pets uh, safe and uh, on the inside there is some of the bait station. They have these little pins and we have this bait. So they'll come in and you can see how it's been gnawed on and uh, they'll eat that bait. And then in about 24 hours, it causes internal bleeding. They'll go off and they will die. So just another layer in our process of trying to keep our RV safe. Another layer in your arsenal is a electronic or ultrasonic little unit. It just plugs into a plug, uh, regular 110 volt in your RV. You'll plug that in. It emits a sound that can't be heard by human or your pets. It's considered pet safe, they tell me. And uh, it is supposed to drive mice and rats crazy and get rid of them little skeptical of this one but you know I'm gonna try anything to protect the investment I have in my RV you can plug it in it turns on automatically and then there is a little night light that can operate at night it puts out a little light blue light right out of this end of the unit but there is also a little on off switch it runs sound wise ultrasonic sound supposedly all the time but if you push that button, it'll turn the night light off if that is something that uh, you, know, you don't care for. So another thing to try, six pack. I'll have links to everything in Amazon. Uh, I think this is uh, under 30 bucks for a six pack. Give it a try.
All right, guys, we'll try some more traditional things now. This is decon uh, bait traps. You can find them at Dollar General or Amazon. Again, we'll have a link for it. And this is a bait trap that you'll put out inside your, uh, your RV that mice will be drawn to, eat the bait, and they'll die. Uh, so a lot of people might wonder, what about my dog, my pets? Well, they come in pet safe little containers, and this is what they look like. We have this one in the corner. And this little bait trap goes right here. And then on each side, there is a place for the mice to go into. They'll feed on the bait, but as you can tell, there's no way a dog can get into this. Uh, you know, I guess if it's, it's a really big dog, he could eat the whole thing, but I, I would think that's unlikely. Our dog doesn't bother with it at all. Uh, you can get these two packs uh, under $10. Uh, it's inexpensive and a good safe safer way to have your mice bait. Alright guys, so next up is a very traditional item, which is a mouse trap, but a little updated type. Especially if you're a little squeamish or don't like it, we have this Decon No Touch Mice Trap. If you can see right here, the little red symbol is on set. And what happens is you crank this, it'll set and catch, and it creates an opening. Then, when it's triggered by a mouse, that little opening completely shuts, and it locks them in. Then you can take this entire mouse trap and throw it away. We got a two-pack under 10 bucks. All right, guys, more layers, and this one... You know, I don't know if it's an old wives' tale or whether it is something that really works, but again, we're trying everything. And that is Irish Spring Soap. Uh, a lot of people will say if you cut up that bar of Irish Spring Soap, the odor that it gives off and uh, characteristics of the soap is a repellent to mice and rats. So guess what we have in our camper? We've got Irish Spring. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to do everything we can. None of these are expensive. Uh, so I'm going to try them all. When it comes to rodent prevention, make sure you're staying in the driver's seat. 